in the Corinthian Death in Venice by Darko Macan and Daniel Tazel. You meet three couples in Venice. The year is 1920, two years after the Great War. An influenza epidemic is infesting the continent. Nationalism and fascism are on the rise. In other words, death is afoot. And a waking nightmare, too. In the story, we meet Major Gordon Kravitz, a veteran of the Great War, and his wife Rosalind. They are on a honeymoon in Venice. Charles Constantine, an ancestor of John Constantine, is also a veteran and is on holiday with his lover Coco. Coco had been in love with a young man who hung himself. Their baby died inside her. She believes she is pestilence, death, and has no regard for human life except as playthings to use for her delight. Amadeo is one of them. Amadeo and his fiancée, Silvana, are the third couple in our story. They work for Constantine and Coco. But Amadeo is more than Coco's chauffeur. Silvana is in love with Amadeo. A fatal mistake. All the characters in the story are motivated by an overriding desire. A dream. Without any moral restraint in Coco's case. Or in those of Constantine. The honeymoon couple. Amado and Tivana. A physical and or emotional impotency. Holds them back. Enter. The man in white, a waking nightmare, the Corinthian. We took advantage of a 14 year old German boy's fear to leave the dreaming world and enter ours during the Great War. He found our lust, our love, for killing on a grand scale fascinating and wanted to learn the art of murder, which he is unable to do on his own, despite having power to make people perform unspeakable acts to one another. The three couples, the dreams, will be his instructor. For no life, no dream shall last forever. People do not start dying as long as their dreams live, he will tell Coco when he meets her. I was created to gnaw at dreams, just as the waters of the Adriatic chew on the bones of Venice. The title, Death in Venice, is taken from Thomas Mann's novella. Set during the same period. Like it, it's a story about decadence and a middle-aged man's frustrated desire for a teenage boy. However, it is to comfort a stranger's which was made into a film starring Christopher Walken and Helen Mirren, a novel written by Ian McEwan, which informs Darko Makan's brilliant narrative. 
Walker and, and Midden's characters search for prey in contemporary Venice for their psychological and sexual games and set their sights on a young couple trying to rekindle their relationship. The Corinthian Death in Venice by Darko Makan and Daniel Cezel. Daniel Cezel is in my mind sets the thematic and literary standard for any story about the dark mirror of humanity, the charismatic and sinister, the Corinthian. Thank you for viewing.